so here are the first three big questions that most people have when they're looking, starting to look for solar energy. First is how much does it cost? Will it work for my home? And how long is the payback time? Now to get the answers to those questions, there's quite a few steps you're going to need to go through. And in this video series, we're just going to go through them one by one, simple steps. And the first step is to size your solar energy system. So the fundamentals. I like the fundamentals. What you need for solar energy to work for you. Well, number one, you're going to need your own house. And this could seem like a pretty obvious thing. I'm just kind of getting it out there to get it out of the way. Because one of the realities of solar energy is it is a long-term investment. There's a pretty big upfront cost. And then to make the most of that long-term investment, you're going to need to hang on to it for quite a while. So it's best if you put it solar panels on your own house. The second thing you're going to need is sunlight. And this is where our sizing comes in because to decide how big a system you need, you need to figure out how much sunlight you get. And to figure out the answer to this question, well, there's two things you need to answer. Where do you live? And how much power do you use? Now, what we're going to do now is just go to uh, Google. I'm going to do that right now. And we're going to type in Solar Installation Maps USA. Hit the go to. And I've actually been here before, as you might see. And we're going to look at Wikipedia, which is a good kind of general open source site. We're going to look for a solar installation map. Now, solar insulation is basically a measure of how much energy is falling on the ground meters squared, and we need that to figure out how much sunlight we get every day. So here's our map. It's Solar Insulation USA. And what it's telling us, if I pick a spot, I'm going to pick this little spot right here, and it's going to be uh, somewhere in California. And then I look at the color, go over to the right-hand side here, and it says that we get on average every day in this little place in California, I'm not quite sure where it is, we get 5.5 hours on average of usable sunlight that we're going to get energy from. That's the answer to the first part of the question.